Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dear viewers, today we will see steel shed design with mezzanine floor in prototype structure 2022. So let's start. First, go to new project. Write the name of project. We will continue with a template. For example, this one. Click on OK. After opening the program we will go to settings center here we will go to codes we will select the design codes concrete design code ACI 318 14 for pedestal column design steel design code here we can choose this one AISC 360 10 LRFD as per American standard. Click on OK. Loading code also same. AC710. Wind load we will choose United States AC710. Seismic loading also we will go with American standard IBC. This is related to AC guideline click on ok yes then we will go to modeling tab to generate grids click on this pick any point on the default grids click on here we will generate axis here we will provide the axis spacing along direction one we will provide 5000 millimeter spacing and number of spacing 4 here direction 2 will provide distance 5.5 meter that means 5500 millimeter and number of spacing we will provide 7 click on ok so this is our generated axis we can turn off the default grids go to display visual interrogation from here since settings click on unmark this grid option ok we can save the model now we will go to history operation go to building set out history operation insert history number of history 3 we will provide including mezzanine level here we can provide uh, height here or we can edit later after this history generation click on ok yes now from here we will go to edit history here we will provide the story heights first one it we will provide the height above the ground level of pedestal we will provide here 300 millimeter height and description pedestal concrete pedestal then this height we will provide 2200 this one mezzanine floor height floor this one from here the distance will be 4000 millimeter this one will be eave height here is structural system this one pedestal will be rcc this one there will be still structural elements here also still okay and here foundation depth from ground level you can provide 1.2 meter then click on ok we can generate 
pedestal first go to modeling tab here rcc column initially we can provide 500 by 400 for corner columns here our direction we can change properties angle we can select all the cell and provide the type the angle 90 then close now this orientation changed click on this here make it 0 and here 500 by 600 ok then we can model the columns here and here for gable side columns 500 by 400 okay we can see 3d view here go to view from here click on 3d physical model then from views tab we can make it tile vertical okay now we will go to next level mezzanine floor this one we will model later after finishing the main steel frame shed so go to cube level from here we can model steel columns click on steel column we will select the section from here here we can choose the different country standard I will go with AISC metric sections go to W section type from here I will choose 16 we can go for 431 millimeter wave height and flange width 265 millimeter select this one click on ok then we will model here like this like this then we will choose a smaller column for corner and gable side columns select this one w from here i will go with 12 50 this section select okay here here and here for gable end side columns i will select little bit more smaller section click on this select ok here we will rotate the orientation 90 here one here one here one here one ok close this one so this is our columns for steel shed now this is model in one story we can extend these columns up to pedestal top we will select all the columns then go to properties here story number one select these cells then type 2 then close ok now we will model the rafters or beams steel beams click on beam then 
go for section size here we can also go with built up steel for customized section size i am going with standard steel section size according to different country code here we are going with american standard w section i will choose 14 select this one okay and here we will make one end elevated so reach height from the eave level reach height for example here we can take one two double zero millimeter that means 1.2 meter this is the height from eave level to reach level like this here this one getting elevated so we will change this control x control v this one update now this is perfect for gable side beam we will choose smaller section size here we will choose 12 45 select ok then this one no this side no for opposite side we will change this elevation control x control v here no here no close ok so our rafters have been modeled if we want to edit the reach height we can do it we will select this side rafter first then right click properties here we will select all the cell then we can type here the changed reach height close ok this side also select right click properties here select all the cells then type the dimension of height close ok now we will extend our columns up to rafters select the column right click and then extend column to member select the member similar way select this extend select the member this side also select this one right click extend up to this right click extend up to this okay so this is our main frames for steel shade now we will model interconnecting tie beams to connect the frames to each other go to steel beam select the section size we will select 6 by 9 this one w6 into 9 this section wave height 150 millimeter width 100 millimeter we can take more smaller size for wave height 127 millimeter 105 100 this one select this one click on ok here we will check if there is elevation provided or not here one end elevated 1.5 meter as we have done it in previous rafter modeling so now we will make it zero as we want to keep it horizontal okay so from here to 
here yes add to here yes then at ridge level also we can model this but mm -hmm. initially this height is this will be modeled in if story so to take it at ridge level we need to provide the height from if level 1500 both in so that our beams can be elevated from eve story to ridge story from both end okay yes close now we can go to mezzanine floor to model our steel members at that level we can increase height little bit go to story operation edit story here you can make this one 2.5 meter and here 3.7 meter here in plan view also we will go to measurement floor Thin, we will make it moment release because we do not provide a moment connection to sub beams okay we can provide sub beams like this yes now we will model steel stair to go up to the mezzanine floor so for that we will offset this axis this side press f2 to edit the distance 2000 millimeter this one Offset this side press F2 minus 2000 millimeter. C section 822.200 millimeter height 80, eight, that means around 90 millimeter width of C section flange. Click on OK. Here, here, here. Right click. Then rotate the section. OK. There, here, and here. Close. Now, this mezzanine floor height is 2.5 meters. So, we will make it up at the mid level of this floor then another flight will go up to mezzanine level so here this two section properties one, one two five zero this one one two five zero 
टू फाइव जीरो बस एंड दिस टू बीम्स राइट क्लिक प्रॉपर्टीज डी जे राइट साइड लेफ्ट साइड वन टू फाइव जीरो so this is first flight from multiple selection if we want to change the section size we can go to edit section ok go to here 10 45 select ok similarly for main beams we can do here we will provide another two pedestals go to pedestal level
now we will go for bracing modeling from modeling brace select the columns in between which we want to provide bracing if we want to make provide two bracing like this we can provide number here i will provide one number of bracing for columns and here from here we can select the section click on ok here we can make some offset from top and bottom 200 here 200 for this bracing 200 200 like this okay you can increase the section size because here we have provided single bracing it will require a little bit more section this 5 by 5 3 by 8 3 by 8 click on ok ok Now we will go for roof bracing. This and this. And we need two bracing like this. And here we will make it zero, 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 and zero. This one also zero. 0 0 0 okay mm -hmm. and if we want we can provide offset from bottom side and if we provide 200 like this mm -hmm. here also 200 like this for this portion you can select this here we can provide offset from top side 200 200 like this okay same this one Now we can model purlins. Go to purlin. This beam to this beam. Section. We will go to Malaysian section. This log C. Two hundred or one hundred seventy-five to select. Okay. Then from sag rod, we will provide one sag rod in one spacing, bay spacing. If we provide two, there will be two like this. We provide one sag rod diameter 12 milli. Profile hanger. If we need to provide profile hanger, we can provide. Otherwise, unmark this one. For if we want to provide ridge rod like this, we can provide. Otherwise, unmark this one. Click on OK.
we will provide the opening at the entrance to do that one go to model beam select the section w r c m w 10 by 45 or 30 select ok here the distance is 2294 millimeter from here to here yes to here Now go to custom level and model a pedestal here. It's done. Or here we can provide similar section of this column section. This one is 12 by 45 this one double click section w12 45 select ok update then. now we will model guard here guard this one this one This one okay, and it will be on the section guard from here. Delete this one. Two zero nine. Okay. Here, if we keep the mouse, here you can see the information. Top at the level eight thousand millimeter, and bottom it is in four eight nine zero millimeter level. It should be in four six five six point five. So more we have to calculate first calculate how much we have to go down 4890 4890 minus 4 here this one 4956 4956 point 5 so 66 point it will more go down so here properties 3d here 2090 plus sorry minus that was minus 66.5 Two zero nine zero minus sixty six point five two zero two three point five two zero two three point five 
update close okay now exactly at the mid section of beam level this column is standing now go to modeling guard from here to here like this here to here like this like this now we will provide cladding go to cladding select the purling click on ok Now we will define loading, go to loading, load and load combinations here. If we don't want to provide pattern loads automatically, you can unmark this one. Create defined combination for steel member design, this is okay. Horizontal load case here, this we can remove this vertical seismic case okay this one also provide wind loading defense separate negative load cases same like this one then click on okay okay now we will apply dead load and live load on roof to do that one directly if we go to load editor if we select the cladding like this filter and then we want to apply uniform area load then here we have to provide the value this one for example 5 or 10 whatever it is if we select this then here double loading is coming so in this way we cannot provide loading on cladding so cancel this one yes we will go for alternative way first we will change the unit from settings center unit change it to si kilonewton per meter square click on ok then we will select cladding from property tab here this one then right click from here we will go to edit loads uniform area load here we will provide 0 0.35 kilonewton per meter square this load will be calculated according to the sheeting weight where direction is relative from here we can change 
the global direction or local direction okay this one we have provided the magnitude or value of the load now we can select the cladding so the area load has been applied the live load from here make it l then load here we will provide 1.57 kN per meter square this will be applied according to the code recommendation okay then select or drag the window to apply the area load click on ok now select this side cladding edit loads red load here now we can go to mezzanine floor mezzanine floor model slab thickness we can provide the deck slab thickness 120 or 100 mm like this now for slab we can set slab types automatically apply to all slab in the story Close. now we can go to loading from here area load 1.5 meter kN per meter select this okay then live load 2 kN per meter square like this click on okay now we will go for seismic loading go to loading seismic parameters here side class we have to choose according to the soil record i am going with medium soil you can ok here ss this will be this values will come from the design code and location map ok different location has different values of ss s1 i am taking for example one region in our country which is having ss 0.7 s1 0.28 fa 1.35 1.35 fv 2.7 and long transition period two second in our country this category i will go with two click on ok according to our provided parameters the seismic design category is coming d for seismic design category response spectrum analysis is mandatory for seismic analysis now this one done direction one system moment resisting frame click on ok we will go with still intermediate moment frames this one direction 2 same moment resisting frame intermediate moment frame done now this analysis option accidental eccentricity 5% ok structural irregularities this one is needed in multi storied building for shade we can ignore this checks post analysis check we can 
remove this check relative interestory drift we don't need this for steel shed as it is low rise building check uh, second order effect this one joint share check no need check minimum member dimension this ok check building overturning this ok response spectrum analysis then click on ok then we will assign auto wind load wind load calculator this category 2 basic wind speed it will depend on the location of the structure i am providing for example 45 meter per second wind directionality factor 0.85 gust effect factor 0.85 minimum wind pressure this is according to ac 710 code this one okay and this one according to the enclosure specification we have to find out this is closed enclosed building or partially enclosed if this opening meets the criteria of partially open building or partially enclosed building then we will select this one partially enclosed if this opening is not there then we can make keep it enclosed building category i am going with partially enclosed building exposure category i will go with c roughness c if there is no hills escarpments or axisymmetric hill in the structural location then we will not provide this data we will directly click on this and provide topographic factor 1.0 if there is any hill hilly region like this in the location of the structure then we will unmark this one then provide the data required according to the figure i will go with this one 1.0 kzt factor click on apply okay we can see the loading value now fx fy the values coming for all the level click on okay now we can go for review part sections if there is any unused section that name will come here that section we can delete from here to free up the model memory close this one building check start number of error zero so there is no error close this one then we can go to analysis building analysis from here first we will edit the material for concrete concrete column pedestal we can choose our material properties 24 mpa i will go with this bar if on bar we can go with this 400 mpa or here we can edit this one or we can add similar one metric here we can change the name four one five mpa four four one five river diameter from here we can choose the river diameters steel column I will go with American standard a 53 grade B apply to all members okay I will change the parlin member I will choose this one a 36 grade parlin and guard click on ok now I will go for analysis 
building analysis first I will not mark anything here to get analysis result only then after finishing analysis we can go to design tab and separately we can design RCC column steel members etc run building analysis to C27 story 2 and story 3 we have to correct this thing close this one here this one we can select as transfer member update Here are these four columns. We have not provided any support, that's why it is. We will go to pedestal level. Then model column. this was our mistake now we will go to analysis building analysis building analysis completed here summary report uh, different checks have been performed you can ok post analysis display analytical model here we can see the deformed shape for dead load we can see wind load here we can remove this loading value go to member load because we want to see the animation clearly animation this is loading along x direction here we can see the x direction stop for y direction It's loading along y direction okay this stop animation we can see the diagram no level V2 V3 M2 M3 like this we can increase the scale like this so in this way we can explore analysis result close this one now we can go to design column design for pedestal
here we can see what is the issue utilization ratio is 0.12 but uh, it's still design status not okay so it seems the still bar river ratio according to the cross section area is less it seems like that so here we can see less than as mean so you have to increase the number of bar so more than as mean it's okay click on okay now copy bars then paste bar so it is passing here also we will paste So this pedestals first now for other pedestal we will check this one 500 uh, less than as mean so first we will increase the number this is okay calculate click on ok still the utilization ratio 1.14 so we have to increase the section size by 700 update click on ok first In this way, other sections we will optimize. Close this one. Design still columns. Click on OK. Say call. columns have been passed so click on close beam check all here for beam some of the beams have been failed 12 by 26 this to be 3 sub beam at story level these two we will change now as example how to optimize the section this 12 by 26 and this one uh, sub beams is 3 7.5 close this one go to give level From here we can select all the member then we can filter selection beam click on ok now we can right click edit section 
12 by 26 here we will go for we can go with 14 53 select this one click on ok for sub dim go to measurement floor select the beams press control beam right click filter selection no axis no slab click on ok and right click edit section yes we will go with this one select click on ok so you can check again now go to analysis close this one go to design beam design again check all it's still the beam section not passing 1453 we have used which section it is passing here change section w now it is passing you can reduce the section a little bit more by 82 we will check this one so this is ok now 14 82 so we will change this 14 by 53 to 14 82 close this one and sorry here also for submit also we need to check which section is it is passing change section yes you can go for 10 35 or you can go for w section this one 824 w Now it is passing, so 824 will change. This select, this one select, then filter selection, click on OK, then right click, edit section W. 824 select click on ok now go to eve level select the beams right click filter selection axis column brace click on ok right click edit section 14 by 82 we have to select click on ok now we can go for analysis fourteen by eighty two past for four section 
still two section not passed 1.05 1.06 so little bit more we have to increase this section and here and w824 these sections all has been all have been passed in this way we can optimize beam sections also we can go for bracing design most of the bracing passed <coughs> here this bracing this bracing uh, few bracings have been failed so we have to increase the section size to optimize the design close this one if we model truss steel dome this also can be designed in proto structure so in this way we can design our steel shed in proto structure then we can go for detailing using proto steel from here I will try to make a tutorial on that also to how to detail the steel shed in proto steel so stay tuned with decode bd subscribe the channel and uh, click on bell button to get notified when i will upload new tutorials this is proto steel where we can design connection and we can prepare detailing today up to this so see you in coming tutorials thanks for watching stay tuned for more upcoming important tutorials press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update